One of the most underrated characters in the Game of Thrones universe is Samuel Tarly. He goes from being a despised young man to becoming one of the most important characters. However, behind his overcoming story, there could be an influence from an entity with a dark agenda. What would you think if I told you that the Three-Eyed Raven influenced Sam Tarly's life so that he later helped him to become king? Today we're going to talk about the Raven's Warning. And if you like everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, because we upload videos every day. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. I became the Three-Eyed Raven. Oh! I can see things happening now, all over the world. To understand how the Three-Eyed Raven influenced Samwell's life, we must start at the beginning. Samwell Tarly is the eldest son of House Tarly and heir to one of the most powerful kingdoms. However, from an early age, he was a disappointment to his father. Samwell hated hunting, sword training, or sports. Sam preferred books, studying events of the past, and immersing his mind in wisdom. His father was embarrassed, so one night he decides to threaten him. Either he joins the Night's Watch, or he takes his life right then and there. Sam's brother is the one who became the heir the Tarly family deserved, and Sam became just another man on the wall. Here on the wall, Sam meets Jon Snow and develops a good relationship with the Night's Watch, who become his new family. Sam fights in battles, finds love, and even becomes a maester. Then he returns to Winterfell and witnesses the most important moment in Game of Thrones when he reveals to Jon who his real father is. Bran and I worked it out. Your mother was Lyanna Stark, and your father was Rhaegar Targaryen. You've never been a bastard. You are Aegon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. I'm sorry, I know it's a lot to take. My father was the most honorable man I ever met. You said he lied to me all my life. Your father, Ned Stark, he promised your mother he'd always protect you. And he did, Robert would have murdered you if he knew. You're the true king. Aegon Targaryen, sixth of his name, protector of the realm, all of it. After Daenerys' death, Sam becomes the new Grand Maester of the Realm. A story about the overcoming of a character that everyone thought would lose his life at any moment. It seems that the rule of the ablest survives in Game of Thrones did not apply to Samwell. And maybe this is not a coincidence. What if his luck is due to the fact that there was an entity that protected him? One of Sam's most memorable scenes is when he confronts a white walker and finishes it off. Stay back! You stay back! It is at this moment that Samwell shows us the weakness of these creatures. We might have thought that Sam managed to finish off this White Walker purely by chance. However, as we watch this scene again, we realize that there is an influence of something else. While Gilly and Sam are talking, they begin to hear the sound of crows. Go out there. Just want to look. The sound gets louder and louder, which alerts Sam that something is going on outside. Sam picks up the sword and sees dozens of crows in a tree watching him. Sam understands that something bad is happening, and asks Gilly to return to the house. The crows go silent, and a white walker arrives. 
Gilly mentions that the White Walker is coming for the baby. We then see the fight between Sam and the White Walker, then Sam fleeing with Gilly as dozens of crows chase them. When we first saw this scene, we thought the presence of the crows was due to something evil, the fact that the White Walkers were coming. But when we look back on it, we realize that actually, the ravens were on Samwell's side. If the crows hadn't screamed, Samwell wouldn't have left the house, and he wouldn't have had a chance to stop the White Walker. In the scene where we see the crows chasing Sam, we might actually think that the crows are accompanying him, and it's not that they want to do something bad to him. But why did the crows warn Sam and then chase him? The answer to this question was right in front of our own eyes. During several scenes in Game of Thrones, the raven would appear a Bran, first at the window of his house, then in his dreams. Don't listen to it. Crows are all liars. <sighs> this means that the raven who alerted Sam was not a conventional raven. It was possibly the three-eyed raven, who is the enemy of the White Walkers. But why would the three-eyed raven want to help Samwell? This is where this theory gets interesting. If indeed the three-eyed raven, who is currently the king of the seven kingdoms, is a type of entity that is being transferred from body to body, this means that Bran is just fulfilling the purpose of the previous three-eyed raven. And here could be the secret of why the raven helped Samwell. The three-eyed raven knew that Samwell would eventually become maester, that he would end up at Winterfell, and that he would be the one to bring the news to Jon Snow. Samwell became the person who caused the trouble between Jon and Daenerys. If it had not been for Samwell, Jon would not have ended the life of the Mother of Dragons, because no one would have known that Jon was Aegon. Without Samwell then there would be no Bran as king either. He needs to know the truth. The truth about what? about himself. No one knows. No one but me. John isn't really my father's son. He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt Lyanna Stark. His last name isn't really Snow. It's Sand. He's not. Dornish bastards are named Sand. I transcribed the High Septon's diary. He annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Elia. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. Are you certain? I don't know why he'd lie. If this character had lost his life facing a White Walker, the Three-Eyed Raven would not be king, and coincidentally he was saved by a raven in his most difficult moment. After Sam confronts the White Walker, he meets Bran Stark before becoming the Three-Eyed Raven. It's too much of a coincidence that after Sam is saved by ravens, he meets the next Three-Eyed Raven inviting him to go north. You're John's brother. The one who fell from the window. I'd be dead if it wasn't for John. If you're his brother, you're my brother too, and anything I can do to help you, I will. Take us north of the wall. What? Why in the world would I you want to go? I don't want to. I have to. This leads me to think that maybe the three-eyed raven has been controlling everything to get power. This means that if this theory is true, it would be the reason why Sam survived so many things during the series, and did not lose his life. Because there were more powerful forces protecting him since Samwell had to fulfill a purpose. Sam at present, is the Grand Maester of the Realm and is investigating the whereabouts of Drogon. If his story continues in the Jon Snow series, we could see how Samwell discovers that the Three-Eyed Raven saved his life, and how it had all been part of his plan to win the throne. Perhaps, Sam feels sad for his friend John, because he knows that John is supposed to be the king, and this could lead to a reunion. What would be the conflict then that could happen in the Game of Thrones sequel? Could it be that Bran Stark is no longer Bran Stark, and this entity known as the Three-Eyed Raven has controlled more things than we thought? Share your opinion in the comments. If you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven. 
stay back! You stay back! things happening now all over the world <laughs>